All right, guys, so we're down here today testing the new, that's a pretty good start, Callaway Great Big Bertha with Rob Potter Mid Handicap Tester. Oh. <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we've just done some iron work and some fairway woods, and we're now into the drivers. This is the Callaway Great Big Bertha, brand new on the market. It's got adjustable weight front, uh, from the uh, middle of the club all the way to the heel. Uh, adjustability goes one down and two degrees up. So we've got it in nine head, but we've gone two degrees up because we're finding that 11 degrees is a good set of you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And we've got it in your shaft. This is a Project X 6.0. Um, it's just a stiff flex, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. It's, just, it's not an X, even though it says Project X. It's just a normal. Slightly shorter than standard. Slightly shorter. So this is the shaft you got fitted for for a Callaway XR driver. Yeah. So we've put it in this head. Yep. Yeah. Over to you, sir. Yeah, it's uh, down the same line of the DC Capow Batman Original Series look. Uh, so it's striking to look at off the shelf. Uh, behind the head, to look at it behind the ball, it's uh, a matte black finish again. Uh, they've got uh, they've put an alignment aid on it with the Callaway V, um, so that'll help for, for squaring up for the middle. But you can still see this face; you can still middle that up. What you might notice in a minute, that's got a black head, silver face. Yeah. Where the others all black. Oh right, yeah, it's slightly silver. I didn't see that. that. Yeah, yeah we just noticed that. So yeah, I mean, you don't actually know that it's a slightly lighter colour when you look down at it, but it's not silver silver. No, it's not bright, no. It. So no, it's not bright at all. Um, yeah, it's nice. It looks quite nice. So we've, we've stuck this in neutral weight setting as well. You like to say you can go more draw, draw bias, but Rob suits a neutral setting. He mm. draws the ball generally because he just hits it a bit too far from the inside, which is actually just something we've just worked on very quickly. Very, very. <laughs> <But, laughs> a mini lesson. Um, yeah. So let's give it a go. That first shot was amazing. Yeah. I, like, I like the look of this more than what the XR driver was. Um, the, the standard XR driver it's not got had, speed bumps. had a speed bump thing on it. it was it's funny crap. how they've just dropped that. Yeah, it was, hasn't it? it was crap. Um, <laughs> and then with the XR Pro driver, which I got, which Callaway very uh, nicely gave me uh, through the advert I just done, is that's got no alignment aid on it. No, the th advert I've just yeah. done. I like how you just dropped that in there, Rob. In there. If you've not seen Rob now, apparently he doesn't, he doesn't just do videos with me. He's got much higher stream. He's, not, he's the first one out of us to actually go on to Sky Sports. You may have seen his advert. Yeah, I've seen it about a million times. The best time. five seconds of my life. Um, <laughs> but it's you know what, what I like is this is now for me is the in between the two because this has got the little V thing. So for alignment, it's the only thing that the XR Pro was missing was yeah. the little V on the top. But it's not got the speed bumps. It's which is good. Speed bumps, it? So for me, I like this better. Right, let's hit two or three shots. We'll see how it's performing. That first shot was fantastic. Push deep, tell me. Off the bottom, Off so it'll be a good test. Off wasn't bottom, a good man. hit? No, it wasn't a good hit at all. That's good. We want to see that. We want to see that. But it's still... Well, it's dead straight for a start, which is good. Uh, carry distance was only 201, but it still got to 232, where your good one got to 251 with a 226 carry distance. Right. Next shot. Okay. We want to see all these miss hits, Rob. I know, because we normally... Not I know you don't want to see it, but... I hate seeing it. what everyone wants to see. The pressure's on now. Is that good? Yeah, oh, that felt better. It felt more in it. More in it? Yeah, it felt more in the in the right place. In the meat. Yeah. Nice shot, sir. Definitely felt better that. Two two six carry for a two hundred and sixty three total distance. Something I've noticed is these Callaway drivers don't fly very high. Even uh, though we've got this in the eleven. Even in the eleven, doesn't fly high. The, the, I've got a nine and a half aero burner as well, uh, and the aero burner has a much higher launch angle yeah. on a nine and a half degree, but just carries and carries and carries and carries and carries. Yeah. And if you remember, we always said that I didn't think that'd ever suit me. No, but well, it shouldn't have done on paper. It never should have done. But it's a good comparison between how different manufacturers design different clubs. Yeah, exactly. Callaway work on the the, the, the rainbow effect. Yeah. Uh, whereas the likes of TaylorMade go for the high and drop. Yeah. But you know, it's the one thing I found big style dif big style difference with with the golf clubs. We've got two good hits. One not so great. Let's hit a couple more. Well, that's my fade. There she is. A little pushy one. See how that's performed. It's actually done very, very, very good on distance. Yeah. Obviously, it's faded. 229 not, on distance. Not a great hit, great carry. Uh, <laughs> decent spin numbers for a miss hit. Let's go one more, then we'll pull up all the, okay. all the numbers for you. Nice hit. That felt better. That's a lovely flight. That, that had a bit of a... It felt a bit of, a bit of flex in the face with that. Nice flight, that. One of the best total distances we've had. So... Let's have a look at the ball flights first up on screen. So there are all the five shots you've hit. Two or three have been bulleted. The second one wasn't particularly great. The third or fourth one was a bit of a high fade. Yeah. That's good. That's what we want to see from a 13 handicap tester. You've keep, got to keep remembering that, Robo. I know, I know. Uh, flights are slightly different from the missed strikes or the good strikes. That's all fine. We're all in there. Uh, let's have a look at some distances. So, five shots. Club head speed was 93. Now, before we were testing drivers, we were about 90, 91. Yeah. So either you've got stronger, Clubhead's got 
better, exactly, etc. Uh, 133 ball speed, smash factor was 1.43, launch angle 14.7 in the air, which is high as long as it's got low spin, Yeah. which it has. Yeah. The average spin level was 2,000. Now, oddly, the, set, the third one only had a 1,000 RPM spin. It's either a slight misread or an incredibly low spinning golf shot. Uh, the highest range one had 2,600 and around average about 2,000. So I, reckon, I don't think that's far off at all. Maybe 2,200 if that, that third one was a bit more level. Carry distance was 221 yards, total distance 249 yards, with the best shot you hit was that one that low, low spun ridiculously with had a 262 total distance. Um, uh, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. But the, the last one I got, I just said, I just felt it flex a bit off the face. That is what I'm wanting to feel from drivers. Uh, my TaylorMade 360 I used to have. When you hit that, you felt the flex in the face, and I missed that in drivers. Uh, yeah. I, I missed that massively because you, you had a good feel, you had a good response back from stuff. That had a little bit of that, and that's the first newer driver, apart from the Mizuno that we tested a little yeah. while back, that had that kind of spring, and the Tartus as well had a bit of a spring in it. So that was... Uh, give me a Rob's rating. Rob's rating. I'm going to give this uh, 9.1. Yeah, because some of the results were all right. Um, so, you know, it's, yeah, it's not, it's not a bad club, actually. Okay. I'm quite, quite happy with that one. No, it's not overwhelmed you. No, it's not. No, it's not a good rating, but it's not overwhelmed It's you. all this slide rule crap. I hate it. Okay. I, I genuinely hate it. It confuses the, the Jesus. My, my XR Pro I've got, and again, thank you, Cali, for what you did. Um, none of us was expecting what you did for us on that particular day. But the whole adjustable weight thing, you know, I don't think it was it set up right for me. And I'm going to go back to Callaway and ask them to kind of get reset up for it. Yep. Because I, I can't put it in the bag. Sorry, but I can't put it in the bag as it stands at the minute. So we're so now going to move it, so. into the Callaway uh, Alpha Double Black Diamond 816. Yep. Um, I've, as you've just seen, I've just put the same shaft in the Project X 6.0, so stiff flex shaft, a slightly short for Rob Fit. We're going to do that in a separate video. Stay tuned for that in the window up here in the corner. As always, subscribe to the channel by clicking the link down here. Check me out, check me out and Rob out on our social media platforms. And stay tuned because this has got a little bit more adjustability. I'm interested in maybe changing the weight distribution to see how it will suit Rob the best. Guys, stay tuned. We'll see you soon. Thanks again. Yeah, thank you. Let's get on the Big Bertha Alpha. Do it.